Hello and welcome to this session how to create a simple report for SAP Business One using Crystal Reports. My name is Darius Hedarian and I'm working for the Rollout Services Department. So what is the agenda for today? First, how to connect Crystal Reports with the SAP Business One database. Next, how to find desired fields in Crystal Reports. Then how to create a quick report and finally how to save and import the report within the SAP Business One menu. So first of all we will start by using Crystal Reports. In the upper left corner we can create a new report. We need to select by first time using Crystal Reports a new data source. So we will use the predefined SAP Business One data source. We will need to choose a Business One database. So I choose uh, American Demo Database, entering now the credentials for it, as well as the database credentials. Okay, now you can see here our database name, which I can expand. There's an item called B1 Tables, which I will expand again. And now you can see a very similar structure to the Business One menu. So if I want to deal with invoice data, I will go to Sales, Invoice, and here you can see a collection of tables which are related to invoices. So now we need to switch to Business One to find out which tables we need. So we go to a Sales and Invoice, select a record, and it's important now to activate in the View menu the system information. And with this we can see here in the lower left corner the database name and the key related to the field. So in this case the invoice number is the OINV table and the document number docnum field. The same here in posting date it's the same table OINV and document date doc date. And we have for example here for item number and so on we have a different table INV1 with item code for example. So with this information we will go back to Crystal Reports and select the OINV table as well as the INV1 table and we will click on Next to check if the foreign keys have been arranged correctly in this case it matches the doc entry on both tables so we will select here Finish now we can see the empty report. We will switch now to the design mode and here you can see the different parts of a report. Report header and footer which are on the first and last page of the report. Then we have the page header and footer which is on each page and we have the details section which contains the main items, the data, the articles and so on which is our main area here. So first of all we will move the print date to the report header because because we will just need it once on the report and we will now start selecting database fields so we will start here with um, the date so which is the document date let's see where it is document date and we will drag it into the detail section then we will continue by using um, for example here the invoice number which is the document number then the card name which is the business partner name and last the total of the invoice which I will also expand a little by clicking on the left border which is not so easy and Last, we will also need one item from the INV1 table, which is the currency symbol, which is related to the database. Just add it there. And we don't need a table header for the currency. You see, when I go to preview, we have all the table headers. And here at the end, we have also a currency header, which we can just click and remove. Now, by double clicking, we can select other descriptions for the tables. In this case, we have just a total. And here we have the business partner. This is the invoice number. 
and this will be the date so this can be aligned on the right and as you can see here the date format contains a timestamp which is not been provided by business one so we will just right click here and format the field to choose a different date format so I will chase, uh, choose a format which is not containing a timestamp okay what's next so let's filter this report for just Q1 so we will select here the select expert then you can see already the document date is predefined this is great so we will just add the is between option and we will select the range between the first quarter of 2009 which is um, in the first entry here is the 18th of January and the last entry would be for this database let's see end of March so we will just click on OK refresh the data and you can see now it's a little bit more uh, it has been reduced but it's still not very easy to read so we will use the group function here in the upper left corner and we will not group it by the date we should group it by the business partner using the card name key and as you can see now we have grouped the report by the business partners okay next we will save the report uh, we will name it for example um, Q1 2009 and save it next step is we will import it in business one so we have here in the add-ins menu SAP business one save as as well as here the tiny icon saver so we will choose this one we need to connect to business one and now we need to enter the credentials for our database which is in this case a demo database passwords okay now we will select here as type a report and we'll enter for example Q1 2009 and uh, now we need to continue by clicking on OK OK and we will switch now to business one go to the administration menu then set up general report and layout manager go to the lo lost reports section click on the Q1 2009 report and select a new menu location we will select sales and the sales reports and click on update and OK and now if we go to sales sales reports we will have our Q1 report stored in the SAP Business One menu and if we execute it directly Crystal reports will open within Business One and will show us the report so we have here the opportunity to zoom in by 100% and you can see all the data we have created and that concludes the demonstration